Hi guys, my name is Robert from New Girl Designs. Um, this is going to be the first tutorial I've done through a uh, video. Anyway, it's uh, for a secure logging system. Right, there's going to be um, two pages your index PHP and your user area. They're the two we're going to be working with. Uh, there will be another file which I'll go through in a bit. Um, uh, there's a style sheet which you can download at the bottom of the page uh, if you want it to look roughly what mine looks like but anyway um, that's what it looks like at the moment I've created a database called login tutorial and users again there's an SQL file at the bottom you can download uh, which basically has username password first name and ID in. But anyway let's get to it Right then, uh, first first, build a form, um, well, build some HTML actually first, so we're going to do a div id equals login wrap, right, um, rather than keep on medium. I'll just quickly pause and do all the HTML and then you can then pause and do it after two seconds. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, done very, very, very basic HTML there. Um, in here, we'll go with form. Again, very, very basic. Uh, username with the name, username, value of nothing. Password, set it as a type password, name of password, no value and then the basics uh, submit button with its CSS right then uh, the first fir first first thing uh, we have to do is obviously put in our PHP tags and set up a connection so connection equals MySQL connect um uh mysql connect and we're gonna quickly put local host now I my username is user login and the password was password and then obviously fallback of die mysql error where's that and then it's db select equals mysql Select database or die MySQL error. And then obviously, we're going to need the database name, which was login tutorial. And then we're going to throw in the connection. So there you go. Hopefully that should work. Right then. So let's see. Got an error. So that will be because it's actually login user. Let's have a check now. No errors. Got no style sheet. So let's quickly. Uh, copy and paste the link for style sheet and then refresh there you go that's the new login details but anyway um, right as you can see it's done that right next thing we've got to do is make sure that we can 
see errors if there are any errors uh, when submitting the form so errors equals an array which will basically all the errors that are putted will go into the array and then pull out of the thingy now we should set some uh, things for instance the value of that I think we should make it say a uname php echo uname which if I actually did this now there will be a uh, error because obviously we haven't defined it which we will do in a second and we uh, pass everything through we want to do it as set everything up so you go if is set um, yeah sorry reading scripts here <laughs> if it's set post thingy do something else new name equals and then you'll find out now there should be no errors as I say but now let's set up a let's fetch the details so let's fetch posted details and you want to go new name equals now we want to be safe here so we'll go trim and we go HTML entities and then is username right the trims trims all the white spaces the html entities turns all characters into html characters which is safe for the uh, database pass w equals again trim html entities again and then we're going to do oh sorry lads forgot to do this post and that one was password right now we want to check that everything is uh, been submitted so check username is present so if not if sorry empty new name so if the username is empty let's echo error message so now you want to do errors and then the array sign equals so we put it in the array basically please can you put a username right so done now let's check check password was present so if empty pass W and again rather than do that please input a password right now we've checked if they're empty that's fine so now if not no sorry if no errors exist 
Yeah, exist do something. So basically, if there's no errors, so if everything's been inputted properly, we're going to do something. So what we are going to do is we're going to encrypt so the password. So we're going to use the one of the best ones to use I always find is SHA-1 and that's going to be past W and then I always use the salt and pepper trick which is salt equals MD5 I don't use SHA this time uh, I do in most things like my website for instance I use a bit more than just salt and pepper but there you go for instance I'm going to call this one user login for that and let's go for pepper and now this one isn't going <coughs> to is going to be encrypted and I'm just going to use anything for instance like so and then the last one is going to be password on press in pass encrypt equals and then we're going to concatenate here so it's salt and it's pass w and it's pepper and now that has uh, given us some quite a secure password so then now we've done that Let's find out. Find out if user and password are present. So query equals select all from from users. where user name equals now I'm going to be using MySQL real escape string the reason why I'm doing that again protecting the database username then we're going to go and password equals and then again I'm just gonna copy and paste that into there Ooh. so uh, like so and then call that password we don't want to reference it and then we're going to go result equals mysql query or die oh sorry stupid me oh uh, yeah or die mysql error so then the query is query right so we've checked it in the next video I'm going to be showing you um, what we do after we've checked it and if there's any errors how we actually go about it thank you and see you in part two